Hi, and welcome to Cata Basics. Today, we're going to learn how to roll joints using a rolling machine. Let's get started. Here's what you need. Of course, you're going to need a rolling machine and some rolling papers. If you're using a 110 millimeter rolling machine, you need king size papers. If you're using the standard 79 millimeter rolling machine, you need the standard regular size papers. And you can use any multiple kinds of papers. As far as the tips goes, you can use pre-rolled tips. You can use no tip, or we're going to roll our own tips using the raw natural tips. You also need some cannabis and a grinder. Now let's get started. You want to start out by grinding some cannabis. Because we're using a rolling machine, we want it to be kind of refined and well packed. So we're going to use a grinder. You could use your hands to roll it up, but you'll have kind of a lumpy looking joint. Probably need about a half a gram to a gram to roll a good sized joint. Now we're going to go ahead and roll up our tip. When I'm using a rolling machine, I like to use the side of the rolling machine to scrape aside the paper across it so that it curls up like you see there. And then you just take the other end of the paper and you just make a little accordion style, two or three folds back and forth. And that's going to make the inside of the tip. And then you curl the outside of the paper around in the direction that it's already curled and make a nice tight little tip. And you're going to make it tighter than it would because once you put it in your machine, it's going to kind of expand back open a little bit. And there you go. And then you can place that inside of your rolling machine. And for this kind of joint, it doesn't matter which side you roll or which side you put the tip on, but later it will. So we'll, we'll tell you about that later if you're rolling another kind of joint. And then the next step is just going to be to load in your cannabis. And you, you can tell uh, about how thick to put it by the size of your tip. And so fill up about the same height as the top of your tip and evenly across and use your finger to evenly push that across and level out the cannabis. And then we're going to be able to close out the machine. And you don't need the paper yet. And this is where a lot of people mess up with the roller machines. Just go ahead and close the machine without the paper. And then a lot of rolling machines like these raw ones show you the direction in which to turn it with some little arrows. And then you're going to roll it two or three rotations without the paper in it. And what that's going to do is it's going to make your uh, joint round on the inside. And so after you've done that, then you can take your paper and make sure that you have the gum edged at the top. And that gum edge will also be facing you if you're standing in front of the rolling machine. And then you feed the paper in and rolling the bottom of the rolling machine as you feed it in and make sure that you feed it in evenly so that it doesn't come in at an angle. And then you're gonna roll it down and into the machine until you have about an inch hanging out or so, enough for you to be able to easily lick across the top of the paper. And then after you lick it, you can complete rolling it down into the machine. And once the tip that's uh, licked is get down into the machine, it's gonna seal itself and roll across. And then you're gonna be able to open up your machine and pull out and what seems like a perfectly rolled marijuana cigarette. And that's going to burn nice and even. And you're also going to be able to put a pretty good amount of uh, marijuana in there. So here we're going to tell you about now, you see this kind of paper, it looks like a cigarette paper. And for this one, the tip has got the yellow paper on one side. So you want to make sure that you have your tip on the right side for that yellow paper. So using these are called Urban Wraps papers and they just make a joint that looks like a cigarette, which might be kind of handy for a stealthy, stealthy way to smoke if the smell didn't matter but they're kind of just sort of a novelty thing. So in that case, you wanna make sure that you have your tip on the same side that you had the yellow strip of your paper. Now there's our first two joints rolled with a 79 millimeter rolling machine. So now we're gonna break out the 110 millimeter rolling machine and uh, see how that works. But basically it works just the same as the, uh, the other rolling machine. And you know, there are also even bigger rolling machines for rolling blunts and giant size joints. But uh, basically you do the same exact thing. You put your tip in one side or the other and then you uh, even the cannabis out, cannabis out as best you can across there. And the one thing about these raw rolling machines, uh, that's the, the 110 millimeter, is that they're not really any bigger around. So you think you're gonna be able to roll a kind of a, a fat joint, but it's not, it's just as thin as the other joint. And um, therein lies the problem for me a little bit. It's a cool looking joint, looks like a Capri or something like that. Uh, and you can see, that even though it's rolled kind of tight, it's, it's so much that it's even kind of fluting and pushing some of the weed out the end that it's hard to hit. That it, it's kind of like a, a, a finger trap where you, the, the compression of when you suck through it kind of constricts in the middle a lot of times. And, and they can be kind of hard to hit. So I, I don't usually like to use a king size rolling machine, but to each his own. One thing for sure is it's not going to stop us from uh, smoking these joints and enjoying it. Speaking of it, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. It was sponsored by the Roughhouse Studios Smoke Shop. You can save 10% on raw rolling papers, rolling machines, and much more with the code CANNABASICS. If you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use a rolling machine, please hit the thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to Roughhouse Studios for more cannabis culture videos made just for you. 
This is Matt from Roughhouse Studios. Thanks for watching.